What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another look at Harvest Moon One World on Nintendo Switch. We have completed the entire game and now we are moving on to playing some of the DLC. One of the new things that you can get in the DLC is the ability to go to a brand new island in the game. And so what we're going to do today is begin playing that DLC and checking out what the island has to offer. So join me as we play more Harvest Moon One World. Okay, first things first, we're gonna head over to Halo Halo Village and we are looking for someone in particular. And I believe we have found him. Hey Adam, did you know you can sail to an island in the east? They say that all the dudes on the island just straight up disappeared one day. Pretty crazy, right? That's why it's known as Cursed Island. What? First time hearing about it? Eh, it's pretty famous legend around these parts. Some of the fishermen dudes totally believe the story and they never go east at all. There's supposed to be some rare eats you can only find on that island though. <laughs> well, I like rare eats. <laughs> I knew you'd want to go. Check out that crazy cursed island, Adam. But if you want to go to there, you're gonna need a boat. Yes, can you make me a boat, my friend? Uh, you're gonna build a ship? That's some crazy dedication, man. I guess you really want to check it out, huh? Yeah, I do. Well, there's actually a ship on the beach. I'll give it to you. <laughs> the thing is, it's broken right now, but if you bring us the right materials, we can fix it up right up for you. Just bring me four palm lumber. Okay, I can do that. I can probably bring them four palm lumber. Nah, no need to thank me, friend. The boat's just been sitting there collecting dust. It should be out in the open seas. All right, collect materials to fix the boat. Let's get that done and then bring it back to, uh, to our friend. Okay, so I think that's enough palm lumber, so let's head back. Where is he at? What quest is it telling me to go to? Now I'm confused. Um, where did I talk to him? <laughs> I can't find him all of a sudden. He was standing right here. I'm going to guess that... Is this arrow pointing to him, or is this arrow... Oh yeah, it is. Okay, here he is. Let's give him the palm lumber, and let's see if he'll fix the boat and take us to the cursed island. Let's figure it out, folks. Alright. Uh, you got those materials to fix the boat? Yeah, I do. Yeah, this should do it. Just wait here a sec, friend. That's... he's really quick. Hey! Look! They actually hand things to each other. That's crazy! <laughs> you guys know my issue with that. Um, alright, look at that nice boat. Looks like a toilet on the back, though. Let's be real. <laughs> It's done. Feel free to use it on your to your heart's content, but be careful if you're really going to check out that Cursed Island. Oh, I'll be careful. Alright. Head to Cursed Island? Uh, you bet. 100%. You really want to go to Cursed Island? Oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Yeah! Let's go! Uh, it'll be fine. What on earth gives you that idea? Uh, it gives me that idea because I know it's going to be fine. Alright, let's head out. Let's check out this island. We gotta find something cool, right? It's not a bad looking place. Halt! You there, what business do you have on this island? Oh no, Adam! I warned you! <laughs> what is that? You seek a rare treasure here? Then you are not but a common pirate. I shall cut you down where you stand, dastardly pirate. Adam, tell him we're after food, not treasure. I will not be intimidated. I stand fearless and resolute against invaders. Uh-oh, uh Adam, try to calm him down somehow. <laughs> yeah, we'll try to calm him down. 
I shall not allow Lord Kawachi's land to become infested with foul vermin such as you. My blade shall rust when I am finished. It's no use. He's not listening to a thing you're saying. Can we just walk past him? <laughs> Wait, yo, whoa, hold up. Is she floating? Uh, poor to me, Voyager. Please come here. Do not be alarmed. Sana? There's no use in talking to him when he gets like that. Just leave it to me. All right. Sounds good. You deal with it then. Oh, and she floats. Oh, we all float. What the heck is going on? Halt! Intruders! Escape is futile. Halt, I say. Oh. It seems I've tripped and fallen. Oh, the shame. Welcome to my home. What is your name, if you don't mind me asking? Adam, you say. What a nice name. My name is Sana. So you can see me at so you can see me, Adam. I'm rather surprised. Huh? Well I saw you floating and then made us float. Indeed, for in truth I I what? Well you're walking like a normal person. What's going on here? You! For what purpose have you come here? This is my abode! What does he mean? Sana, you just said it was your home. Well, he's not here surprisingly. Well, he got here surprisingly fast. He seems to be shaken up, though. What to do? Apologies, Adam. My brother has returned before I had the chance to explain the situation. In truth, his home is both my. This home is both mine and my brother's. What? Indeed, he is my brother. As is apparent, our personalities are quite different, though. <laughs> yeah, they are. Hey, what causes you such great laughter and merriment? <laughs> Laughing alone in such a manner, I cannot believe it. <laughs> alone? What's he talking about? You're here too, Sana. Oh, how rude of me. I didn't even serve tea. I'll brew some now. Please wait just one moment. Does he not see her? Intruder, I ask if you are listening to me. Something strange is going on here. I don't think this is just a breakdown in communication. Agreed. First, we have to get him to listen to you. Show him you mean him no harm. I, I mean no harm, my friend. Uh, indeed, it appears you have no weapons on your person. Oh, who carries around weapons? I mean, I got an axe and a hammer. <laughs> Very well. I shall give you five minutes to explain yourself. What do you have to say in your defense? I have nothing to say in my defense. I don't know why you expect me to say something. Ah, I see. You heard tell of a rumor of this village in a faraway village, a uh, rumor of this island in a faraway village known as Halo Halo. So, they talk about us as such in the outside world? Well, it's not wrong, I suppose. Uh-oh, so this is a cursed island? Yikes. And thus, you were captivated by tales of rare sustenance that exists on this island and came here. Exactly. We just want the food, my friend. I see. You carry no weapons, and the only treasure you seek to steal is food. Furthermore, your face is tension-free like the Tanuki. Indeed, I do not believe you come here with ill intentions. No, of course not. I told you that. I mean, I wouldn't believe me either. Let's be real. Uh, very well. I've decided to honor you with my trust. I am the son of a samurai, and therefore am an excellent judge of character. <laughs> uh, I think he finally gets you, Adam. If only he understood from the start. Agreed. There you see, everything is fine. Honestly, this guy is so tightly wound. <laughs> I, a Yagami Shogun Yuginaga, am a samurai entrusted with defending Waga Wagashi and Kokomomo Kokimomo Castle. However, please, please feel free to address me as Shogun. Apologies for pointing my sword at you. However, circumstances left me no choice. As I am the guardian of this island, I must be ever vigilant. Agreed. I'm grateful, but there's one last matter to resolve. It sounded as if you were addressing someone else in your conversation earlier. What was the meaning of your actions? Oh, huh? so he does not see Sana. A girl? Of whom do you speak? Forgive me, I do not know whom you are referring. Just what the heck is going on here? Hey Adam, does it seem like something weird is going on here? It's alright, little yokai. Please, calm yourself. What? Yokai, yes. That is what we call supernatural beings on this island. Of course, I can see it. Man, I want some yokai watch right now. Wait, you see me? 
Hey, hold on a minute. I'm not a yokai. I'm a cute little harvest sprite. A harvest sprite? Ah, I see. That is the kind of yokai you are. No, I'm just a harvest sprite, not some spooky yokai. Let me make myself more clear. Why do you continue to talk to yourself? I'm not talking to myself. To whom are you speaking, Adam? Or is speaking to yourself simply one of your personality traits? <laughs> really, what on earth is he talking about? Can Shogun not see Sana? Well done, little one. Indeed, it is true. Sho is unable to see me. Huh? Sho? Oh, that's just my little nickname for Shogun. Cute, isn't it? It's a lot quicker to say than Yokinaga Shogun Yagami, don't you think? Wait, forget about nicknames for now. Why can't he see you? That's the real question. So then why are we able to see so then why are we able to see you? Hmm. I actually don't know why. You gotta be kidding me. But Sho can't see you either, little one. It's kinda of the same, right? It's completely different. I'm a harvest sprite. It's natural that he can't see me. Agreed. See, even Adam thinks it's weird. I'm still quite confused. I think I should go and tend to the rice fields now. Okay, bye Shogun. Uh, you do not know of rice fields? It is where we grow rice, our island's main food. Shall I show you? Yeah, please, please. This could be the mysterious food I'm looking for. Let's go to the rice fields then. Alright, we're off to go see these uh, mysterious rice fields, which I'm actually pretty excited to see. Okay, to do, go to the Shogun rice fields. Alright, so here we are in spring year one. Year two, actually. We beat the first game all in one season, which is pretty solid. Looks like we're going to be able to move our farm here and some new crops and some new seeds. What do we got? Uh, lotus seeds? New. Uh, eggplant? Not new. Is there something else here? Uh, wheat seeds? Not new. Okay, so we got lotus seeds. Those are brand new. But here, let's go check out the rice fields. Impressive, are they not? This is because I take time to properly care for them every day. And sometimes the spirits of the island assist me as well. What? Indeed, the spirits of the island, that is what I call the soul of this island. I have never seen one myself, you know, they are invisible to the mortal eye. Although, I live alone on this island, crops are sometimes harvested and new rice crops are planted without me, my doing so. Such mysterious events prove the actions of divine force. In short, it proves the spirit of the island exists. Spirits of the island, eh? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> He's talking about me, you know. Sometimes I give Sho a helping hand. I thought so. Right, then let us remove weeds today. What, what you're gonna put me to work? I have a request too. The fact that Shogun can't see you, what on earth does that mean? Of course, but first things first, I'm Sana, Sho's younger sister. The truth is, I was spirited away. What? Uh, why? Er, I did something sinful to incur the judgment of heaven, or something. It's difficult to explain, so I'll say no more. But let's just call it a slightly otherworldly state. How does it feel? Well, it doesn't hurt, and I never sleep. Oh, and I don't get hungry. But sometimes, that makes me pig out on some of those scrumptious sweet manju. Other than that, I can fly, and that's about all. I thought I saw us flying. Did I not fly like behind her when she left him? Maybe not. Maybe I'm seeing things. Tee hee hee. The first time I found out I could fly, I was so excited. So getting spirited away made people unable to see you? That's what I thought at least. So when Adam could see me, I was rather astounded. Hmm. What a strange tale. I'm not sure what to make of it. This should be sufficient. This should be sufficient weeding for today. Have you seen enough of the fields, Adam? I have. I'm returning to my bow to prepare the evening meal. Would you be so kind as to join me? For sure, yeah, this place is weird. I want some food. Please, wait just a moment. I should be finished preparing the meal shortly. I feel like this first episode is going to be a lot of talking, and then maybe we'll get some playing in episode two. Uh, dinner is served. I simply cobbled together what was available. <laughs> oh, it was delicious. Thank you. I hope it's to your liking. Oh, Sho forgot to serve the pickles I made yesterday. Wait a moment. See? I pickled some fresh vegetables. Try some. Ah, indeed. These were some pickled vegetables. I shelf. There was some pickled pickled vegetables. I shall fetch. Fetch. Oh, those are the pickles I was speaking of. I do not recall serving them to you. Well, in any case, please do help yourself to those as well. Thank you. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Give me some vegetables. 
Sometimes on windy nights, I swear I hear voices talking outside if the shutters are open. That's weird. That's to say, there's something a terrible night with wind that sounds like human voices. <laughs> In any case, I shall light some candles now. It's prudent to keep the house bright. Isn't he acting a bit strange all of a sudden? <laughs> he is indeed. So then, Adam, would you like to learn all about Wagashi? And if you wish, I'll tell you something really interesting. Yes, please. All right, let's go outside then. Sounds good. Hmm, you're returning to your abode? What? You will not be staying here. Listen, man, I got stuff to do. I see. Well, stay close. That way, if something were to if something were to occur, n never mind. I'm certain nothing will occur. Just take a just take care on your way to your abode. Yes, sir. Can I sleep on the boat? That'd be handy if I could sleep on the boat. Does Shogun seem a little bit odd? Yes, he does. I know, right? I thought it seemed like he was scared of something. Sho has good reason for being like that, but let's leave it at that for now. Let me start by telling you what happened on this island, Adam. This is Wagashi, home to the Kokimomo clan. There was a village here. It was a small, likely village. See? A lively village. See that big mountain? It's the biggest volcano on the island, and it erupted horribly years ago. The crops, the house, the castle, we lost everything in a split second. What? The clan lord told the people to head to the new world, but Sho opposed to leaving the island empty. He said he should guard the island, and he didn't board the boat. And what about you, Sana? I couldn't very well leave my brother all alone, so I stayed with him against his objections. However, the ship carrying the clan lord and the villagers sunk during a terrible storm. Oh no, that's horrible. But after the strange things started to happen on the after that strange thing started to happen on the island, villagers that I thought had died in the storm started appearing in the village at night. Appearing, you mean like ghosts? That's impossible. Oh, you don't believe in ghosts, little one? Well, I mean, so what's that right behind you then? Behind! <laughs> oh. Bah! <laughs> was actually a ghost. I thought she was playing a trick. Vengeance! I shall not sleep until I have my vengeance. <laughs> oh no, Adam, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> it worked perfectly. Yeah! Hey, hold on a minute. Just the heck, what the heck was that? I already told you, they're ghosts haunting the village. I remember as far back as the ship sinking in the storm, but the next thing I knew, I was back here. We wondered what the heck happened, but there's nothing we can do to change it, right? So we decided to take it easy on the island until we pass on to the afterlife. <laughs> Amazing, I've never heard of something like this happening. Anyways, pleased to meet you. I was so excited when I heard from Sana that we had visitors after so long. So, why don't you hang out with us sometime now that you're here? Sure, I'll hang out with ghosts. That's not weird at all. It's getting late already, so I'll show uh, I just missed that. So I wanted to let you know the history of the island today and explain how things came to be the way they are now. Thank you. When you have time tomorrow or later this week, please stop by. We'll have a jolly island tour. Awesome. Okay, but how do I... How do I get back to my house? Can I just fast travel? Let's give it a go. Nope, that's the wrong button. I'm sure I can just... Uh, memory portal? Oh, okay, yeah, I can just uh, fast travel. Where's my farm? Uh, that's the village. Halo, Halo. There's my farm. Uh, yeah, we're going to move there now, and then we're going to call this a day. So, guys... This, and I didn't take care of any of my animals. Uh, lots of requests. I don't need to do that. Let's quickly pop in on our animals and take a peek, see how they're doing. Clean. Um, do I have any food on me? I only have one. Do I have more food somewhere? Because I feel like I'm going to need some. Let's see what I can find. I have no chickens either. This has been a very lousy playthrough. I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, so don't hate me for it. Um, what do I need for chicken food anyway? And do I have it? Uh, this is my bag. I want to go to storage. There we go. Um, okay, so it turns out I don't have any food. And what's it going to cost to make some? I haven't played in so long. Um... I need grass. I don't have enough. Okay, I need some grass. Do I have any grass? Because if I don't have grass... We're going to move our farm, I think, as well. It might be in the fridge. Uh, it's my bag. 
I don't really care about my bag. Oops, I don't care about my bag. I care about my fridge. And do I have grass? I do not. So that's not great. All right. Let's go to bed. Tomorrow we'll head over to one of the animal places. We'll get some grass so we can keep taking care of our animals. And we will check out more about this mystery village. But until next time, guys, thanks for joining me for a brand new episode of Harvest Moon One World on Nintendo Switch. And we'll chat again real soon. Get that farming done and join me again soon. Bye, everyone.